Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed. Their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the truth from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. In our previous episode, we discovered that the serpent, also known as Satan or Maya, is now bound and locked in hell. However, traces of his influence still remain inside the human system. How can these negative residues be removed if we are to enter the Golden Age? As Supreme Master Ching Hai explained for us, because the, the energy of the zealous demons and ghosts and evil is still in the world. Yes, yes, yes. Like even if Maya is gone, the energy is still linger because they infected the humans and the animals on this planet since long, 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 long ages already. Yeah. So, yes. so even if they're gone, it takes years for this energy to clean up. Even it could charm the couple, the first children of God, whom God loved so much and created with love and breathed his own life force into them. Yeah. Imagine how powerful it is. And we now, humans, alone on the planet, not in Eden even. Adam and Eva live next to God, with God, and still got seduced. So us humans, the snake within us, is difficult to get rid of, unless we really want to. Nothing we want cannot be done in the spiritual uh, realm because we, we are the children of God. We have that power. But many people are so seduced, so uh, lost in this physical domain that they forget everything. They forget heavens. They forget God. Even if they go to the church, they don't really remember God. Not in the real sense. 打坐时，在境界中看到师父自己孤独一人在立战一条大白蛇。如果师父向人类这么大的话，那条大白毒蛇就像五层楼那么高地站立起来，直径大约有两到三公尺粗，向着师父吐蛇性。我看到这情形，
etc. In this time of final judgment, Master has been speaking openly about the problems within the Church by exposing the injustices and warning of the consequences if there are no real corrective changes. All these decades, and the Church still continues to exist and continues to fester this kind of evil within the house of the Lord. It's unacceptable. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. They, they abuse children because the children are easier to fall victim, like predators. They're molesting the weak, the meek, defenseless, and innocent. If children come home and maybe tell something, or parents might not even believe it and scold the kid or keep quiet, or they threaten the kids to keep quiet or else. Yeah. <laughs> and then even abuse the orphanage boys. Oh, how ugly can that be, my God. We call this the Church of God and the Church of Christianity, the Church of Catholics, whatever, all these holy names. What, what kind of degraded to the bottom of the bottom. But if the symbol of God, the Church, is rotten like that, then other people will be influenced to do the same. Yes. Yes. Or join inside to make it more evil more permanent <sighs> and more bad people will come to become their workers their priests and make the church become certain instrument I joined the monastery as a very idealistic 20 year old and thought I was going to be a monk a priest and unfortunately it didn't work out that way because so many sex abuse cases came forward that I ended up actually being ordained early to go work on and follow sex abusers who were being withdrawn. And at that point, uh, at the age of 32, I had to make a moral decision. Am I going to support this institution? You know, am I part of this? Or do I have to find a different path? According to the Christian prophecies, God's wrath is to fall upon humans in the final days if he becomes too corrupt. In a way, Master has been voicing God's anger, for all true enlightened Masters are representatives of God. I'm very angry. Yeah, I'm a very okay. angry vegan Master, okay? When it comes to injustice and the suffering of children and animals, because they are helpless. My God, oh, may God forgive us all. Ultimate Master, God Almighty, forgive all of us, please. The Italian Catholic clairvoyant, blessed Elisabetta Canori Mora, shared the following account of having witnessed the divine anger toward the Catholic Church in particular. Per la seconda volta sono tornata a vedere il fabbricato rovinoso. Sono stata condotta dentro di questo e mi sono stati mostrati gli sconcerti che nella chiesa succedono. Vidi l'oppressione dei poveri, vidi i sacrilegi che si commettono da tanti ministri di Dio, vidi l'ingordigia di questi, l'attacco che hanno ai beni transitori la dimenticanza del vero culto di Dio. Vidi il bene apparente, fatto per fini indiretti. Che delitti sono mai questi, non si possono comprendere. A queste cognizioni mi inorridii e quasi dubitando che Dio fosse per subissare il mondo, tremavo da capo a piedi. Oh, my God, what are they doing with Jesus' teaching? Oh, my God. They make an empire out of it for gain and fame, for respect and privilege. And here we have the church, the reverence of all the reverence, 
the holy of all the holy, walking tall, talking big, casting in, you know, living in comfort, and doing this kind of thing to the children. And the law does nothing. Just a little bit here and there, and then sweep it under the carpet, no? The bishop reportedly spent 31 million euros on a luxury home and office. The big donation baskets fill quickly. The belief is the more you give during and after the church service, the more your wealth will increase. The pastors themselves, they live like rock stars with huge mansions, private jets and fancy cars. Cardinal Angelo Becciu, who is 73 years of age, he is accused of embezzlement, abuse of office, extortion and fraud, including losing the Vatican almost 100 million euros in a London property investment that went sour. Etc. Others also foresaw the trouble within the Catholic Church, such as the Venerable Mother Agnes Chiara Steiner, who was gifted with prophetic vision since childhood. La notte io avevo una visione. Vidi il giudice severo che giudicava due sacerdoti in un maestoso trono. Mi parve che andassero dannati mentre con un cenno li allontanò. Ebbi tanto timore che venisse a me. Io piangevo e tremavo. Vidi altri due sacerdoti, cui accadde la medesima cosa. Even much earlier, in the 1100s AD, the famous German prophetess, Saint Hildegard of Bingen, also emphasized that the religious leaders would have to improve during the end times. Zum Ende der Welt hin wird die Menschheit durch Leiden gereinigt. Dies wird besonders für den Klerus gelten, der seines gesamten Eigentums beraubt wird. Wenn der Klerus eine einfache Lebensweise angenommen hat, werden sich die Bedingungen verbessern. The church has a big influence in world politics even. So can you see how harmful it is to the whole world, not just to the children, not just to the reputation of the church. If the church is not clean, clear and purified, then uh, this evil will spread all over. And also the energy of it will affect the world, affect world peace, yes. Yes. affect the world's moral virtues and the faith in God. After Master Hart lent her heartfelt time and energy to speak out about problems in the church, we noticed that the situation began to show signs of change. Perhaps this is evidence that the wrath of God contains within it a power to bless and foster more enlightened actions. Etc. It's a little bit more progressive now. So I read yesterday and the day before the, the head of the Church of England, yes, yes, master, yes, master. Reverend Welby, apologized to some of the victims of the abuse from the Church yeah. of England. Yeah. yeah. And then also the head of the Catholic Church in Germany wrote a letter as the Pope to let him resign. Yes. yes. Because he say he's too ashamed. Like he feels guilty if he keeps being silent or doing nothing, meaning he condones that. And he realized that 
because of trying to protect the the honor of the church, you know, the reputation of the church. And he ignored this uh, problem. And if you like a collective guilt or something like that, yeah. 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 Es geht für mich im Kern darum, auch Mitverantwortung zu übernehmen für das, was in der Kirche geschehen ist. Im Raum der Kirche, die ein Raum der Heilung sein soll, der Hoffnung sein soll, der Zuversicht sein soll. Actually, our work does bear some fruit. It's not as much as I want, but it does make some waves. It does tear up something. Understanding viewers, thank you for joining us today.